In this video, we're installing an OpenVPN access server along with DuckDNS to phone home with our mobile devices. This can be useful to access services you don't want facing the internet directly. This access server allows up to two connections without requiring activation. The setup is pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. First, let's head over to DuckDNS and get logged in. Now we can grab our token and subdomain for our DuckDNS container. So first let's grab our token. We'll copy and paste this into our notepad plus plus. Next we'll grab the subdomain. I already have one labeled Steve AS that we'll be using. We'll grab that and throw that into our config. We don't need to map any volumes for OpenVPN. The only variable you might need to change is the time zone. Now that we have our config, let's put it into our server. And first we're gonna type ID to confirm the PUID and the PGID in our Docker configs are correct. And we can see the UID and GID are 1000. Now let's copy and paste the Docker config into our putty session. The OpenVPN container can take some time to start. While we wait for OpenVPN to spin up, we need to forward ports 9443 and 1194 to our container for OpenVPN to work. This step will vary depending on your router. In this example, I'll be using an old Netgear router. Over to port forwarding, and I'm adding a custom service. First, we're labeled 9443. That's the port. We're going to our container at dot two thirty four. We'll apply this. We'll add another custom port, and this one will be eleven ninety four. Again, going to our two thirty four container. Apply this, and we're done with our router. Everything should be installed. So first, let's change the default admin password. Let's head over to Portainer get logged in and we can see our OpenVPN and DuckDNS containers. Let's go ahead and console into our OpenVPN container and type in EASSWD space admin and this is to set the admin password and now back to containers. Access the admin GUI, head over to port nine to the container on port 943, and it's actually add admin to the end of it. And it's on HTTPS. And this is the admin ad credentials you just set. Go ahead and agree to the license. First, let's head over to network settings under configuration. And for the host name or IP address, we're going to enter our DuckDNS address. And then scroll to the bottom and click save settings. And then update running server at the top. Next, go over to VPN settings. And under routing where it says specify the private subnet to which all clients should be given access. This should be your local network. Go and scroll down to the bottom and save settings and then update running server. Now let's head over to user management and user permissions. And let's create a new user so we're not using our admin account. We'll create a user Steve. More settings to set the password. And save settings, update running server. And that should do it for the OpenVPN configuration. Now let's hop over to our mobile device. On our mobile device, head to your DuckDNS domain name using HTTPS on port 9443. 
log in with your new user we created. Use the links provided to download the OpenVPN client for your device. In this example, we'll be using my Android cell phone. So I'll click the top link. Scroll down and follow the links to download the official OpenVPN client. It takes me to the Play Store where I can click install. Back to Chrome. Go back. Now let's scroll down to where it says yourself and click on it. This will download the client OVPN file we need to connect. Now let's open the OpenVPN client and we need to import the file we just downloaded. Now that we have the file imported, let's test it out. Go ahead and click connect. Enter the password and we're connected. Let's see if we can access Portainer on the 192.168 address. And there it is. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.